Hey everyone, welcome back to Mortal Kombat 11 and welcome to the first character in the lab breakdown video. Now these videos, what I do is I go into the lab with a certain character, I look at their moves, I look at some of their combos, what they might be able to do, how they might function, and yeah, just kind of have a quick look at the character. This is not like a tutorial, obviously, I'm going in here blind as well, so it's more like a figure out the character together. In this first episode, we are going to be looking at the big bad boy himself, Shao Kahn. I cannot believe they added Shao Kahn. I was ho so happy when I saw him, uh, because I think Shao Kahn is pretty cool. And he hasn't been playable, I think, pretty much since MK vs. DC. I think that was the last time. Plus, I remember him kicking my ass completely in MK9 as a boss. So now it's good to control him a little bit. Now, before we go in, one thing I have to mention. I don't know if I'm just looking at the settings wrong and I'm an idiot. And if I am, do let me know. But apparently, there is no way to pick the competitive variations in practice mode by default. So if you don't know, this game is divided between uh, competitive and non-competitive uh, kind of game modes. And in competitive, there are two set variations which were created by NRS. Now, as far as I can see, those variations, the competitive variations, do not match the variations you have available in uh, practice mode. So, I had to go online with Shao Kahn already and look at what the competitive variation moves are and set them in these two. Kind of stupid. If they really didn't think of this, Man, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Fucking NRS, man. Who should we beat up? Let's beat up uh, this schmuck. So yeah, again, if I'm stupid, do let me know. Uh, or if I'm missing anything. But apparently that's the case. Uh, people have reported it as well. So basically, to figure out what a character's allowed quote-unquote moves are, you have to play some matches with them. So this is Shao Kahn. Again, I'm not going in there blind because I had to play some matches with him. And his competitive variation is not named this. I didn't bother renaming uh, the actual variation. But again, I had a bit of practice. Let's look at some more things he can do. So surprisingly, he has okay walk speed. I would say about the speed of what Kotal had in the previous game. His forward walk speed is actually decent. Dashes are kind of shitty, especially the back dash. The forward dash is okay, decently quick. Uh, jump, yeah, he's a big body, so jumping is not going to be the strongest. One thing I've noticed just by playing him online is because he is so huge, he does have trouble kind of avoiding certain moves. Like, there was I fought a Kano who was using the knife toss projectile. I literally couldn't jump over it because he is so big. His feet get caught. So that might be something you have to be uh, careful of if you're playing this character. So, in general, what do I think Shao Kahn does? I think he really focuses on long-range, kind of whiff punish style moves. He doesn't seem to have too many big combos from what I can see so far, but his moves hurt. I mean, even something like this, as you can see, that does... A grip of damage. Now, in terms of moves, standard down one, down two. His down two is worth mentioning. It's actually pretty decent, covers a decent chunk of room. Of course, it's a high. Uh, he has this move, the back three. This is better. So it's like his down two, but way better. I mean, it's a mid. Look at how much distance it covers. Uh, it moves him forward. Yeah, if you're starting the match off, you can just basically throw it out there and it's gonna hit. And yeah, it's on save. Thought it was gonna be on save. 4-3, yeah, he has this. This is kind of a strange move. It has like very, very short range. Uh, it's kind of a weird animation too, but hey, we're used to that. Down three, little hammer bash. Down four, kind of reminds me of Johnny Cage. Uh, yeah. Sweep. He uses the hammer for the sweep. <clears throat> it actually covers decent distance. 
So that's worth that's worth looking at. He also has Fort 4, which is his... Well, this is the boot. Uh, a lot of MK characters have the boot. It covers a huge distance. So yeah, let's kick him in the face. Of course, it has huge startup. Uh, that's the disadvantage of it. Jump attacks. He has... This is probably an air-to-air. Uh, this is good for jumping in, I would say. It actually has good hitboxes. Jump kicks. They both kind of look the same to me. Uh, oh yeah, it is the same. <laughs> Never mind. And he also has the short hop attacks. This is his... Uh, come on. I'm still practicing how to do these short hops. But he has these two. This hammer one especially seems... God damn it. There we go. That has to be like a little gap. Yeah. This one is decent. Overhead covers a good chunk of space, especially since when we'll look at his combo strings, you'll see that he doesn't actually have that many overhead attacks. So combo strings. He has one to grab. Little spear. Little spear move. Uh, the thing about this is that if you hit three of these. This is his main projectile. If you hit three of these, which you will hit because that's his main projectile, this will become a crushing blow. Now, it's not going to allow for a combo, but as you can see, it does 345 damage. So, yeah, when I said in my little tips video that you should uh, turn on crushing blows on hold, this is why. You're going to be using this spear a lot. And just imagine, you hit a bunch of these, you see the enemy is down on his life, uh, just a little chunk left, bam, you hit him with this. And this is really good, and he's and he's dead. And this is really good because this is his main punish, so I don't know, I need to like... Hmm, I, I need to find something for the collector to do, maybe I shouldn't have picked the character I... Oops. Oh, yeah, yeah, you need to switch. Never mind. Never mind. I need to switch to him. We'll do that later. Um, I forgot how NRS practice mode works. Anyways. Let's finish looking at his combo strings. But anyways, this is his main punish. Uh, next up, also starting from 1, is 1-4 one and 1-4-2. This is his only overhead. Uh... Aside from his short hop. Decent, but again, one thing you have to be careful of is this starts from a high. So if I set my opponent to ducking, yeah, this will go completely over his head. So yeah. I will show you how to work around that. Because one of the things you can do, especially with a character who has decent range, like Shao Kahn, is you can with this first hit and then as you can see the second and third hit will still connect with the opponent even if they're ducking especially since if they are ducking like that trying to anticipate a high they are probably not going to be ready to block the following two hits all right he has two variations of this string the two one as you can see this starts from a high as well just to mention, I will say this later as well, but one of the things I've noticed about this character is that he has so many highs. This is a high, this is a high, this is a high. Uh, that might be a problem, honestly. Because usually in old MK games, the thing, one of the things that really made or broke your character is whether you had a good mid. Right now, to me, it seems like Shao Kahn might not have a good mid, but... Hey, the rules might be different in this game. Who knows? As I mentioned, he has two variations of the string. He has this. This actually pops up. Uh, I haven't figured out what else you can do from this other than this. In this variation, because if you customize him, he does actually have a move that allows for a full combo. But... It looks like his competitive versions don't have that available. 
All right, next up, I've shown this a couple of times already. Yeah, the forward one, two, the four, two, one, two. Great range. I mean, this thing covers massive range. Very good corner carry. Yeah, good move. This is a good move for like, if your opponent makes a mistake with punish, take them to the corner and then you're gonna be in their face. He also has another variation of this. Oh yeah, he does have this overhead as well. But... I don't know. I guess it's gonna come down to block advantage. Both of these are unsafe. Just gotta be careful of using... Just like throwing these moves out. I'll talk about block advantage and frame advantage more. But actually the game's internal tutorial teaches you frame data as well. So that's good. And finally... He has this string. And then he has a third hit, which is not a grab, it's a mid, but it side switches with the enemy. This is good if you're stuck in the corner. It doesn't do huge damage, but yeah. If you want to switch, your, switch places with your opponent, yeah, just grab them, break their back and toss them. Now, the thing about this move is it's not actually special cancelable. If you look at his other strings, yeah, that's special cancelable. This one is not. You can only cut this short or go for the full grab. Now this one, <sighs> negative seven, that's gonna be difficult to punish. Finally, he has four, four. This one, as you can see, is super plus on block. However, once again, starts from a high. And that's all his combo strings. Uh, overall, again, lots of highs. I not seen like a good mid aside from this, and that might be a problem later down the line. We will see special moves. Again, the way I created these variations is I looked at what the competitive variations have and I copied them. So these will be the moves that will be allowed in tournament. He has this by default, his spear toss. It's a mid projectile, that's the thing that surprised me. However, it actually kind of works like Johnny Cage's projectile in MKX. If your opponent is close by and they are ducking, this will go over their heads. It will go over their heads for quite a while, as you can see. So yeah, even though it's a mid, it not, it's not really a mid, so to speak. So if you're getting hit by that online from Shao Kahn, just be aware that you can duck it, even though it says that this projectile is a mid. Again, same as Johnny Cage's uh, A-list projectile. Was that A-list? Yeah, A-list projectile from NKX. Next up, we have the scum grab. I've shown this a couple of times. Again, very Kotal Kahn-esque. I think if I set the AI to jump, we will, oops, we will see that this is, yep, it's an anti-air. And it's an anti-air grab, so if your opponent is jumping in on you, you can do this. Seems to have kind of short range, uh, but damn, that is a sick move. Especially, yeah, you gotta amplify it to get the full effect. That's really cool. Just fucking smashes them with the hammer. Man, this is why I want to play this character. Shao Kahn. Just, th there's something so satisfying about bashing people with the hammer in this game. I don't know. Next up, the hammer toss. This is a classic. I remember getting hit by this a shit ton of times when I was fighting against him in MK9. Of course, the MK9 version, it's stunned. So if, you, if he hit you with this, uh, it was full combo time. This time it doesn't do a full combo. Uh, this projectile, however, is an actual mid. No ducking this one. Only thing is, it has kind of slow startup. You see how he has to sort of wind up to throw the hammer? Yeah, that's the thing. Shoulder charge, classic. Uh, there's two ways to actually amplify this. Yeah, he has the overhead and he has the pop-up. Now... Yeah, that's the basic combo I figured out so far. Oops. 
if I don't drop it. Let's try this again. Oops, wrong move. You can follow up with that. If if I don't drop my combos, damn. There we go. So, if you have a crushing blow, you can do something like this. If you don't drop it. Come on, boy. Oh shit, I'm out of meter. I don't want to reset though, because that's going to reset the uh, crushing blow requirement. Uh, whatever. I just want to test out this combo. Hey, we're learning, we're learning. It's all going to get better. It's early days, boys. It's going to do... Yeah, that's going to hurt. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, almost 40%. I knew that would deal big boy damage. Now, the thing is, though, the problem with uh, this pop-up move, which seems to me to be his main combo starter, is that it's very difficult to get this off of anything because every single move of his pops up. So you cannot get it off of this because it whiffs. You cannot get it off of this because it pops up. Okay, you can't get it off of that. Gotta come up with a better follow-up, though. We'll see if this is his best follow-up. For sure is when... I see, that's the problem. Now, that's not gonna work. Okay, that might work. And then he can cancel this as well. So we can go... Yeah. 265, kind of low damage. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. Man, Shao Kahn should be fucking destroying you if he hits you with a combo. But again, it's early days. I might be completely... Like shitty with these combos, I might be doing like really stupid things, but hey, that's how you figure out a combo. Worth mentioning here, the reason I said that it's difficult to combo with this move is because every NRS game has a system called gravity scaling. Gravity scaling, basically what it means is that the more time your enemy spends in the air, the faster they're going to fall. So that's the reason why I was sometimes having difficulty connecting this last spear move, because the more you, more they're in the air, the faster they fall. And as you can see, this last spear hit kind of starts slow. But that's the kind of thing you have to be mindful of. The more your opponent is up in the air, the less, the more difficult it is to connect with your combos. All right. Shoulder charge. Wait, let's look at the frames on this. Negative 20, negative 25. Yeah, he seems... Shao Kahn seems very, very unsafe. Uh, let's see if that... Okay, it misses. Next up, we have the Hammer Lunge. This is kind of an interesting ability. Uh, not a projectile, but... Sort of. Yeah, he has a pop up in the corner this is for sure combo -able. mid screen not really but yeah he does this little jump it's kind of like predators thing from mkx you remember that lunge he had yeah but i'm pretty sure yeah it, it pops up just doesn't combo hmm what can i combo this off of uh Probably nothing, it seems like. However, if you hit your opponent like that, catch them off guard, yeah, it's gonna do a good chunk of damage. He can hop over projectiles. I've done it, so it is possible. 
negative seven, decent on block. You can do a close, far. We'll get into ridicule later. Actually, we'll get into ridicule now. Classic Shao Kahn move. It's so good. It's so good. As soon as I saw that they added the taunt, I was like, damn, this is gonna be sick. So what does Ridicule do? It's a debuff. Uh, it debuffs... Debuffs? Debuffs. Goddamn English. It debuffs your opponent's attack power. So let's try doing some... Oops. Let's try doing something. Go for record. Okay. Goddamn. Okay, that's the one. Now we got this. Cool. So that does 49 damage. 48. Let me just... Twenty-four. Holy shit, it actually is a significant debuff. Uh, I have not used this move yet. Uh, so yeah. Wait, don't not, not AI. There we go. That that is a significant debuff. And probably what you're gonna wanna do is after Yeah, do a move like that. For example, pop them in the air. And as they're falling into the ground, into the ground, onto the ground. Yeah, you have time to do this after a knockdown, I think. Uh, probably not after this one. Kind of a weird input, you gotta get used to it. Uh, anything with L2 is a little bit strange. But anyways, as you can see, Ridicule, you should be using it as much as you can. Uh, especially when it provides such a significant boost. One move I forgot to mention, the Ground Shatter. This is also a variation specific one. It's a little low kind of ground pound, so... Technically, this can become a mix-up. How good is it? I don't know, it kind of seems to do low damage, but it's there, and basically anything you can, anything that doesn't pop the opponent in the air, you can end with that. Negative 18, negative 19, yeah, this is the weird thing, just to go over the boy a little bit, he seems extremely unsafe, extremely. Which is a little bit strange. Because... I don't know. Shao Kahn. He should be doing big boy damage. Yeah, that's a both meter combo. And it doesn't break 300. Strange. Strange. I'm still gonna grind out this character, but... I don't know, man. I thought he would have like more grappling style moves. Whatever. Let's go ahead and look at his uh, second variation. It's not called Fiery Wrath. IRL. Again, it's just... I just shuffled around the moves and didn't change the name. This is a cool costume, though. You gotta give it up. So, what does he have in this one? He has a move called Dark Priest. He gets a little... He gets a little boy to help him out. And what this does is it buffs any attack that does the hammer, that uses the hammer, that does the hammer. Don't do the hammer, kids. So this one does 50. Dark Priest does 55. So that's a chunk of damage, 10%. Uh, this, this replaces Ridicule. So he's not gonna have Ridicule in this variation. So it really just comes down to your preference, whether you prefer your attacks to do more damage, or your opponents to do less damage. He also has this move, this up war hammer. Uh, he throws it, and it actually is a projectile. It doesn't home in completely on your opponent, but yeah, it's a mid, and it does a grip of damage. 
cannot be amplified, but... And this is an interesting move. I find this move more interesting than his hammer toss. And just like all the other ones, yeah, this benefits from the hammer buff as well. So really, this variation is going to be all about the uh, hammer moves. Once you get the buff, use it as many times as you can. He also has this move, Annihilation. This is kind of brutal. Yeah. That, that, that's a sick move. Uh, not a combo starter. So you're gonna... If you amplify it, he just does. He brings out all his toys, I swear. Now the thing that might be a little bit of a problem about this move is... Look how far... Oops. Look how far... If I can actually get it. Look how far it pushes your opponent. Now, Shao Kahn doesn't seem like a zoner to me. So, like, why would I ever want to be this far away from my opponent? Sure, you can use the spear, but you have to think, most characters are going to be way better zoners than him, or going to have way better projectiles. So, I don't know. Other than that, that's about it for this variation. He doesn't have any strings. He has these two moves, or these three moves, which is fairly interesting. I think this variation, this is the most interesting move he has this up hammer however I feel like his combo game is gonna be even uh, more diminished diminished in this version I'm gonna try something oh no maybe not but yeah again that doesn't break 30% so it's kind of strange however yeah this move Actually, can this grab out of the air as well? Let me just... Let me just test that out. Because it kind of looks like it would. Oops. No, it doesn't. Weird. Okay. The animation really makes it seem like it would, but... Apparently it don't. Did I not reset? Okay, there we go. Hmm. Again, I made this video after I played a couple of matches with him. Of course, early days I was being matched against pretty much completely new players. So I was winning, but as I was playing I was like, damn, this character is a little bit strange. Like, I'm not sure which character archetype he will fit into exactly. Uh, is he supposed to be a zoner? Is he supposed to be a brawler? I don't know, man. Uh, interesting character, though. Again, I will for sure keep grinding him and see if I see if I can have a combo that breaks 30%. Probably with his fatal blow. If I go to uh, life percentage, uh, yeah, set it to 5%. His fatal blow is sick, though. Damn! Just look at that. Shao Kahn. That is sick. I mean. If nothing else, I want to play this character because he's absolutely sick. Uh, I cannot believe they're going to let us play as Shao Kahn. Oh, that might be the... Hmm, okay. Almost. What else can I do that's a little bit quicker? Maybe. Yes, okay. I'm so happy I got that. That's gonna break 30%, that's for sure. Hell yeah, it did. It breaks 40 as well. That's a mid, by the way. Uh, fairly slow startup, so... Yeah, just be careful with that. It seems to be more of like a combo thing. Oops. Yeah, that was basically Shao Kahn. Uh, I'm not sure, man. I'm really not sure. He seems very cool he's a very cool character but i don't know if they gave him the right moves for the competitive variations his like in the customizable versions he has a move where he can pop off from this and also one where he, this becomes a spear charge that he can also combo off of the problem is he doesn't seem to do a lot of damage but maybe with the other characters doing less damage as well it balances out 
However, I was playing Scorpion as well, and I was doing way more damage with him. Very interesting. We will see. We will see. It could be that he will become like a Kotal Khan, where people didn't really think Kotal Khan was that good at the start of MKX, but then he became an absolute beast. We'll have to see. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little breakdown of Shao Kahn. Well, it's not little because it's like 30 minutes long. Oh, he's just so fun. He's just too much fun. Even if he's shitty, let's, let's just stick with him. I'm gonna stick with him. And this short hop, fuck. There we go. I have to practice this shit. I didn't even do short hops when I was playing the beta. Like a very specific input. Anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like this video, comment, subscribe, do all that. Uh, have you guys played this character? What do you think of him? Or, you know what? He reminds me more of Goro, because Goro was also pretty bad, and he was a DLC character, and yeah, he started off kind of shitty at the start of MK uh, X, and then he became fairly good by the end of the game's lifespan. But maybe, maybe he's really good. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being an idiot. If you know something, know some secret Discord tech, let me know. Speaking of Discord, my Discord is in the description if you want to join. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see all of you next time. Damn, I don't have the... Oh, I don't have the taunt. We'll do that instead. Goodbye.